three, two, one, zero. Ignition. Sometimes I just like to stare at the earth from up here and think about all the craziness happening on the surface. Everyone is so busy and everything is so important. Life just becomes a big struggle. But from up here, you realize that nothing is really that important. Except building an empire. What up, Earthlings? So as I hone in on my vlog recipe, I had an idea for a new segment which could be really cool and helpful for shaping my empire. This idea I'm calling Metatopia, where I showcase cool metaverse discoveries, then inject them into my brand new Metatarium. Think of it as a container for my big bang. And after it gets full, if it magically exploded, it would form a pretty awesome metaverse with my favorite people, places to go, crypto, NFTs, fashion, and entertainment. Let's put something in there so you can see what I'm saying. Starting with this dude, Teflon Sega. He's an awesome musician forming a really cool meta bubble. And I wanna see if he wants to chill out in Xanadu. I'm thinking I might offer him a trade. He makes me a cool Xanadu song, and I pimp out his avatar with a few special upgrades. Teflon Sega. Next, if you haven't seen Dynamo Dream, do yourself a lobotomy and watch it. by a friggin' madman named Ian Hoover, and if he made his world meta inhabitable, I'd seriously pack my shit and move to Waterworks. You'll see what I mean. We all need to convince this dude to port his world into the metaverse. Dynamo Dream. Come on, Ian. It's all about real time, my man. In the world of meta fashion lives my absolute fave artifact. And they have all kinds of craziness happening, like Project Akira. Maybe I can get my hands on one of those avatars and give it a little spin, eh? But what I really want still are those shoes. Who are those shoes? I wouldn't mind that pigeon either. Artifact. Finally, if you're into building a meta self, kind of like me, or want to discover VTubers who are already out there, check out my friend Matt Workman, AKA Citizen Meta One. This dude's talent spans far and wide, and he's never predictable. See what I mean? He's building an awesome motorcycle rig out of the blue. Maybe even some unrated stuff, I don't know. Look, I'm not responsible if your brain gets stained here, okay? Citizen Meta One. So there you have it. That's what I'm thinking for Metatopia. So hit me in the comments. I personally think Metatopia could be cool, but not as cool as Bob. Alright, let's see what crazy alien contraption Bob's got in store for us today. All right, what do we got here? Ooh, this looks rare. Mine candy. 
If you guys can even guess at this one, I'll be impressed. is going to be livid! Yeah, I dived his cronies into trading me for a million subs. Yeah, those morons are starting a vlog, just like you. Hey man, get me your own Xanadu. I'm parched like a Regalorus after Double Double. You know what I'm saying. Yes. Ah, okay, so you've been eavesdropping on me this whole time. Yeah, well I hear everything around me. And you little man have serious issues. Like this Naive plight to become an emperor. <sighs> Trust me, I've worked for several, and they're all wealthy, smart, ruthless killers. None of which are you. Though your biggest issue is you haven't even moved to get my orange soda. <laughs> is that so? I think my biggest issue is the bossy little chatterbox I just set loose on my ship. Yeah, about your ship. It's a total dump. Take a look at it. I don't even think Chip and Joanna could fix it up. I'm really starting to love that show, by the way. Oh, what are you doing? You don't want to press that, not that. No, I really want to press this pretty bad. Okay, but then who's going to blow up your vlog? Well, you've already nuked my Bob segment. What else did you have in mind? Well, it's not what's in my mind. It's what's in yours. I am a dream catcher. I recall dreams, mostly for the purposes of entertainment or espionage. Or well, sometimes I'll milk my clients who think I can do Inception. Total idiots. Mind candy, dream record, I get it. I was leaning more towards crackpot psychic to the rich and infamous. Yeah, I, I might like that job. But look, little man, you have like five subs. That's your first problem. You need more content. And your alter ego, this Corey character, you just can't make it fast enough. Yeah, that is very true. Just think about it. I can record infinite content for your vlog, and you can call it something crazy like Electric Dreams. It'd be amazing. But that's really assuming your dreams are amusing and not some kind of frivolous pubescent nonsense. Which in your case is more likely, isn't it? You don't know squat, Chatterbox. Because if you did, you'd know my dreams are legendary. My most boring dream would make Kill Bill look like a Peppa Pig episode. Well, I suppose tonight we'll find out, won't we? Yeah, I suppose we will. So how's this going to work? Oh, you're not going to like it. No, you're not going to like it. But it's just the way it is. Don't get all sensitive on me, man. Screw it. I'm doing it. I'm bringing Bruce Lee back from the dead. If Keanu Reeves can bring back historical figures, so can I. Whatever you say, Smurf Chicken. Bruce, I'm coming for you, man. I'm gonna save you. Not good. Oh yeah! Oh shit, daddy's here! <laughs> hey there, little man. I told you you have serious issues. But don't you worry. I've seen much worse. 
pretty much, I'm sure I've seen worse. I'm sure you're not the worst, don't worry, okay, buddy? This beautiful camera mess might look familiar to some of you guys. Now normally I like to nest cameras in their own sequence, um, but when I'm in hyperspeed mode, I end up with all these cameras in a single sequence just because it's faster, but it makes this annoying camera mess where you literally can't see what's going on unless you go into game mode. But in game mode, you lose references to lights, which doesn't work when you're lighting. So to fix this, you can scale those cameras down so that they don't block everything. So the first thing to do is just turn on show engine content, then do a quick search for Cine, which will reveal the 3D model for the cinema camera. Then you just go to the scale section and then put in whatever value works for you, in my case, 0.3, and hit apply. Voila, now you can actually see what you're doing, yay. Now if your character has a hat, sunglasses, or a headband, Here's a quick trick for making them move in a more realistic way. As you can see, when my face moves in particular ways, it also moves my glasses or my hat on my headband. It looks weird if you don't have this kind of interaction happening. So Corey's gonna walk you through how to do it very easily in the Unreal Engine. Okay, so the idea here is you need a couple additional bones to attach your glasses or headband to. And once you get this set up, those attached glasses or headband will automatically animate relative to your character's face movements. So for these bones, you can either add them in your 3D app like Maya or Blender, or you can create uh, virtual bones right in Unreal. Now for the glasses, I position the bone right at the top of the ears, which would be the natural sort of pivot point for, for glasses because they, uh, they sit on the top of your ears. And then for the headband, I put it towards the back of the head. Since it's only your forehead muscles, that would be pushing it up or down. Now, Blue's face is animated using AR kits. So I'm using specific AR kit curves to drive those new bones we added. So for the headband, curves like brow inner up, brow outer up left, brow down, and even smiling will cause slight movements in the forehead, which would uh, be slightly moving the headband. Now you can definitely use more curves here than I have, uh, but I think these are the big ones. And the glasses, they generally follow the same recipe, but with slightly different values. Uh, yeah, I should, I should be adding brow down here, which would push the glasses sort of outward a little bit, but uh, something I have to add. Anyway, your character will probably have different values, so just tweak as you go and uh, use your own face as a, as a reference. So if your character's face is set up using ARKit, you probably recognize this strange mouth close blend shape. It's literally the only blend shape on its own that just doesn't look right, so it's really hard to gauge what it should look like. Now the important trick to this shape is it works in conjunction with the jaw open shape. So together, your mouth is fully open and your lips should be sealed pretty much like this. So if you're having trouble with your character's lips not touching when they should be, this would probably be the first thing to check and modify if needed. 